actually have two orders and this is the original one which we're going to demonstrate here in a minute and then the one that uh, Dr. Warner is working on over here uh, this actually was a design sent to me by a friend of mine uh, out in California and uh, so we I asked them to make this product for us too I'm loving it all right this this is this is the view that you get from above And this is the view that you get from down here. So you're demonstrating that you can bag? Uh, it's very simple to bag the patient uh, while visualizing the airway uh, and chest rise without obstructing my view. Um, I have enough room through the holes to actually uh, place my equipment through there without disturbing the area around uh, the patient. And Speaking the of holes, so what we did if you'll see our, our first video, we actually talked about creating ovals, and that's what we did. And um, and then I, I shrunk the diameter down about half a half an inch. It went from four and a half down to four, and you have very easy movement of your arms through there. Correct? I have no restriction even up to my biceps. Um, and I have a, a large range of motion. So I think having this angle makes it easier to uh, transition. If for some reason we need to go from video to direct uh, with the stores, you can do both. Um, I think this angle in the screen uh, is very uh, user-friendly and intuitive. Yeah. Um, because it actually gets me closer to the patient so I can you know, continue to monitor my landmarks as I intubate the patient. Um, Dr. Tim Young, uh, a pediatric emergency doc out in Loma Linda, California, sent me his specs on this. So you're doing this without... And I'm doing this direct at this time. And it's very, very easy to possibly gain my airway. Uh, so you're, you're having no problem doing DL And we have good good lung inflation. Uh, that was very simple. Um, I think with even under video, uh, the ease of intubation with the screen involved in a positive COVID patient or any respiratory illness that we're worried about droplet, uh, this would be fairly uh, simple. Again, I think that was very, fairly simple. Um, and I was a little bit too deep there, but easy to back out. Yeah, again, that, that, you really probably need a, a Miller Zero. I have a yeah, Miller One. Um, I think that was a pretty dynamic intubation there. Yeah, pretty slick. Okay, now we're gonna try the, the other box. So do what our concerns are that with a, an adult, with a larger head and with the equipment that you're trying to get in there, that we might actually have problems as far as the stylet bouncing off the window, the, the curved window, the slanted window there. And um, so let's go ahead and, and see how that works now. So there is a little bit of a bouncing, a yeah. touching of that window. Correct. You could hear me hitting the, the yeah. flex a little bit, um, or the plexiglass, I should say. Yeah. Um, I still think I still think though for safety and ease of operation, it improved probably my comfort. I would say probably my anxiety that many people may describe when you know dealing with these complex you know COVID potential intubations and the concern for exposure. I still think I would be at a, greater ease yeah um, so i want you to do this now without looking at the screen i want sure. you i want you to do just a dl plain dl okay all right let me start over because this is the hard part okay. 
the yeah. screen there, but I, mean, I think I can definitely do it. So did the angled box or window box make a difference? I felt I could, I felt I can visualize much better uh, without having to transition my viewpoint as much. Okay. Um, I've noticed that because particularly on doing DL, um, you know, you want to identify your landmarks so much uh, and be confident uh, in identifying those landmarks. I'm moving and maneuvering myself less in space. And so I found the angled box easier that way. Okay. So you try it under the boot and the stylet, the same. I think I think I like for direct learning I like the angle box personally. Okay. 